Two of the top defensive bigs in the league will jump it up. Bam out of bio and Brooke Lopez, who is runner up for defensive player of the year. And Miami ball to start. Drew Holiday, an all star this year. Ten years after he was named an all star for the first time, it's the longest gap in NBA history. And to your point, Holiday with a great chance to make an all NBA team. Here's Butler in transition. Holiday pulls the chair off, didn't fill Butler. He gets the basket. Likely for the rest of the playoffs, unless the Heat get to the NBA Finals, there's a chance he could come back. Broke his hand in game one. Holiday drills the long ball. 7-2 start. Butler takes it away. Two on one. Got caught in the air, but hits Spruce. Soaring to the cup and flushing it. He is a situational player based off of matchups and, and based off of, you know, the amount of minutes that you really want to give him. But we saw, as you see, Drew Holiday knock down the three and answer the Kevin Love three. Holiday has eight of the 12. He's three of three from the floor. Two of two for three. And another basket inside. Tracks down the offensive rebound. Little jab step to the three. It's good for Butler. Back-to-back -back threes by Miami. Sansky is equally as dangerous as when he's handling it. Struess missed the floater, batted around. There's Butler to clean it up inside, and then the smash by Adebayo off the Butler miss. Playing the second straight game without Giannis Antetokounmpo because of that low back contusion. Butler with a shot clock at five. And Milwaukee left him, Holiday and Lopez. He had 22 points and six threes. Butler spinning, shooting, hitting against Holiday. Jimmy Butler with nine. Butler not a great three-point shooter, but always better in the playoffs than he is in the regular season and right on cue. His numbers is... When he's helming that second unit, it, it's like having an extension of a coach on the floor. Bam lost it, regathers. Miami on a 9-0 run right now. Here's Butler again, hits again! Butler's got 17 in the opening quarter. Butler had 17 in the opening quarter. He had 14 in the first quarter of game one. Duncan Robinson off the bench, drills a three. That basket ends a 19-0 run by Miami. Robinson, thanks to a screen from Bam Adebayo, drills the three. Looks like his confidence starting to come back. Allen shot in and out, rebound by Oladipo, and here's that pace you're talking about. Miami trying to push it, trailer three, it's good for Robinson. Boy, is he back in a big way. And five now for the game, and only 30 points. They put up 138 in their last game. Lowry drills a three. That is the ninth three of the first half of the Heat, and the lead is 18, trying to go up 2-1 in the series. Miami Heat trying to break the record now. <laughs> There's Ingles, and he's able to answer. Boy, Mike Budenholzer talked up Joe Ingles and what he's meant. To the Rebounded by Portis. Five minutes remaining in the second quarter. Middleton trying to get past Robinson. Banks and in. Tough runner by Middleton. Timeout Miami. Minute and 24 seconds on an 8-0 run after Miami took an 18-point lead. No offensive rebounds for the Bucs. They had 17 in the first two games. Another Miami three. That's the 10th. And the second by Lowry, the bench has five of the ten threes for the Heat. And I'm glad Javon Carter kind of pointed out the same thing that we mentioned. They got to move the ball. They're not getting ball movement. Possibility of injury. Jimmy Butler, 17 first quarter points. Nothing here in the second quarter, but he gets that one. Circus shot off the window. He's 7 of 10 from the floor. Lead is back to 15 for the Heat. Already making an impact in game three. First points of this game, 22 with six threes in game two. In the paint, Butler with the basket. He's got 21 to lead all score. Middleton with another three. Chris Middleton, three of four from behind the arc, 13 points. Vincent, nice cut, Butler underneath. Lopez was right there. Out to Love for three, hit it! Second three for Kevin Love. With Holiday on him, stripped it, and a turnover by the Heat. And a great pass ahead to Allen with the slam. Middleton finds him in transition. Underrated finisher out on the break. We know about his three-point shot. Vincent up in the air with the shot. 
Holiday gets into the paint, leans in, good hands by Bam out of bio, getting another heat deflection, and a look ahead by Love. Struess gets the layup in transition. Three for three from deep on the day. Pull up jumper on the baseline is good. Butler so efficient in the playoffs as always. Nine of 14. Martin with a step through and underneath to Butler, who's got 25 now, lead up to 16 again. They go to Butler. And now Love. Timer at four. Love driving at Lopez. Here's Spruce with one. Beat the shot clock with a triple. University of Arizona math, I guess. Pass a little off the mark to Butler. And then Mark with a throwdown. Wow. Continues to say he's doing everything he can to make himself available and that it's a collaborative decision between, obviously, as Butler hits a three, Giannis, the coaching staff. Uh, and you also have to respect great basketball players' basketball IQ. Butler drives, a finish with the left hand. 30-point game for Jimmy Butler, his second of the series already. But Jimmy Butler's hobbled right now. He... Milwaukee has not had a lot of second chance opportunities. They did not have an offensive rebound until late in the first half. Kyle Lowry has had a terrific night off the bench. 13 points. Bucks trying to stay within striking distance. Lowry has the defender on his hip and is able to score with Carter riding him. 26 in the first two games. Here's Oladipo in the paint. Miami's bench outscoring Milwaukee's bench. Butler is still back in the locker room. Here's Allen. Oh, swatted away by Oladipo. Right to Holiday, though. And up and under move. Good. And a foul. And here comes Milwaukee. Milwaukee won game two after the Heat took game one. Game four is Monday. Here's Duncan Robinson. Robinson again. He turns 29 years old today. And with Tyler Hero out for the rest of the series, as Middleton scores in his foul, they're going to need Duncan Robinson to continue to play like this if they're going to win this series. Shot clock at five. Here is Bam Adebayo spinning, missing, and Martin sneaks in there to get the tip in. Yeah, he's got to shoot that left Bam go get the offensive rebound if he doesn't like his attempt. Oh, Martin with a great defensive play. Bud thought it was kicked. Layup on the other end for Oladipo, which would mean Milwaukee's in trouble if it loses. Although, again, Giannis has missed two of the three games and could be back for game four. Robinson penetrates and scores again. Duncan Robinson. Portis spotting up for three. No good. For Milwaukee, as Bam goes down court for the arrow, lays it in over Portis. Middleton. No good. Oladipo on the move. Goes right around Middleton for the easy layup. They believe that they can win two games. They can win two more games. And now you got to win three out of four if you're the Bucs. That, that's a daunting task. But Abayo gets the basket. Ends up winning most improved player. We, we see that all-star talent on full display. And then the injuries. Obviously became a huge story. Duncan Robinson shooting a terrific story on his 29th birthday. Four minutes to go in the first quarter of game one. Bruised his low back, returned for a little bit in the second quarter, then left for good with about eight minutes to go in the first half. Did not play in game two, did not play tonight as Martin hits another three for the Heat. Year 15 for Spolstra. Bochamp for three, got it. Many times in the playoffs responded very well two years ago. Giannis was hurt in the Eastern Conference Finals against the Hawks. Missed a couple games in that series. Milwaukee obviously won, then came back from a 2-0 hole to beat the Suns in the NBA Finals. We'll see about Jimmy Butler, too. He's still hobbling. He didn't have to go back into the game, but Roz was told that he could have.